Reading is crucial to success in education. That's why programs such as the Blueprint for Student Success push for more reading time in the classroom. But what do you do with a child who can't pick up the most basic reading skills? Well, Kimberly Hunt joins us with a special report card on education. Kim? It's nice when we're looking at the successes. Our county schools offer a whole host of programs for children with learning disabilities. But some families look outside the classroom for more individualized help. Tonight, we look at one reading program that achieved amazing results in just 12 hours. Come look at this bug, said Violet. He is a second grader reading a second grade level book. It's hard to believe that just a short time ago, eight-year-old Giovanni could barely read at all. How did he get here? Let's go back 12 weeks. Do you remember what this word is? When? It's called Ooh, Reading yes. Right, developed okay, by what, Dr. What Suki get? Stone, who took Nine, her 20 year background in one, special education one, two, and developed a universal eight. technique to help children overcome their reading difficulties. He basically had no reading skills. School assessments show the depth of the problem. Giovanni could only name six letters. He was not associating sound with symbols and not associating words to print. So now watch me write the word baseball. Baseball is a starting point, something Giovanni is familiar with. I begin with the child, not with the reading process, not with reading skills. Giovanni will dictate a story about his day at the baseball game. The story will be in his own words. And you'll be able to read the story back to me because each word that you say, I will write down. Okay. Okay. Stone so says her reading so right program builds the child's this, confidence. This the it's sort of um, a, a feeling of success before the skills begin. By their sixth meeting, Giovanni was writing his first book called I Went to the Padres Game. My brother Jose took us to the Padres game. If he can read his own work, he will be able to read other people's work because many of the words are the same. Now one of Giovanni's favorite reading books is Arthur's Camp Out. It was spring. Vacation. His brother My Jose says Giovanni has grown into a confident, voracious reader. It's gotten to the point where he goes into his room by himself and he reads or goes up into a corner and he reads. Uh, and uh, I can see a consistency. It flows a lot better now when he reads. And Jose uh, is thrilled for Giovanni uh, and proud of his accomplishments. A... And the little guy did a really good. Um, he, he did a really good job. Giovanni can now read his favorite word. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I love the word fabulous. <laughs> Of course, most parents can't afford to send their child to a private tutor. That's why Dr. Suki Stone turned her program into a nonprofit corporation that accepts donations from companies and individuals. Barbara Lorraine sponsored Giovanni. She says the experience changed and her life. Here, I was going to have a chance to have an impact on the life of this child. And I'm just overwhelmed. For more information on Reading Right, check out our website at thesandiegochannel.com. Coming up next Monday, we'll look at another program that helps improve reading comprehension. Wow. Great to have the success stories, isn't it? I was amazed just to go back six weeks later. They did it uh -huh. for an hour every week, yeah. and six weeks later I checked back in, and he was just reading his little stories about the wedding of his brother, and, and it was great. Outstanding. Wonderful. Thanks again.